Hi, this is Jason with Pilgrim's Light, and I'm here to talk to you today about a very important habit that I think that a lot of believers might be skipping. <laughs> That's right. And I've got some data to back this up. I'm going to get into it, and but I'm not sure. Tell me what you think. So let's get right into it. that Christians ignore the most. What happened am I talking about here? I am talking about reading the Bible. That's right, reading the Bible. We seem we have a lot of Bibles in the country, but I don't know how many people are actually reading them. But people have done some research to figure out, you know, who's reading their Bible, why they're reading their Bible, why they're not reading their Bible. So I'm going to go through that just real quick. So uh, over the entire country, you know, Americans, do we even have a Bible? So maybe people aren't reading it because they don't even have one. Do we have a Bible? Yes, we have Bibles. It says 82% of us have a Bible, and not just any Bible, not just the big family Bible, right? But they also have Bibles that are readable, understandable, and they have access to them. I mean, with the internet, you would think you would always have access to a Bible. However, in another video, I'll show you that the number one way that people read the Bible is in print version. Interesting, right? Well, and no people that don't have a Bible, it's 18%. So 18% don't have a Bible. So a vast majority of people have access to a Bible in their, in a language they can understand and not just King James, right? So who's reading their Bible? Well, among Americans, uh, Lifeway Research did uh, a study and they figured out that 20% of the people, Americans, have read the Bible at least once, which is pretty good, I think. And 9% have read it more than once. However, that leaves 80% of the people who have not even read the Bible through uh, one time. Why is that? Maybe because it's a large book. Maybe it's not a priority. Uh, there's lots of different reasons that they have uncovered. But I think... You know, I think that's where we're having problems with believers, with what the Bible says and doing what the Bible talks about is because lots of people have only read it once and only 9% of Americans continue to read it for it to continue to impact their lives. So why don't we read our Bibles? Well, this is also from Lifeway Research. And why don't we read our Bibles more? Well, the number one reason up at the top there is it's not a priority. Just don't prioritize it. And the other thing is, why? What do we always say when there's something that we know we should might be doing, and but we're not doing it? Uh, I think sometimes that's, I don't have time, right? It's, well, I don't have, I'm not prioritizing, I don't have time. It's kind of the same excuse, right? Because if it was a priority, you would make the time. So if you put those two together, we're standing uh, over 30%. It looks like uh, maybe 45%, 27 and 18. So... Those two put together, maybe about 45%, is about the same same idea. So the vast majority of people just aren't putting a priority to it. And so here's the question. Why is it not a priority? Well, you can answer that question for yourself. But why it's not a priority is because, as this one researcher points out, Americans reading the Bible is a little bit like exercise. And that's how they treat it. They know it's important and helpful, but they just don't do it. So that's the thing. Uh, and the thing is, it is exercise. It's spiritual exercise. So why aren't we reading the Bible? Because we don't see the benefit in reading the Bible. We're not connecting the benefits that we receive in our daily life with reading the Bible. However, if you look at it, the number one way that people grow in their belief, they grow as a Christian, they grow as a follower of Christ, of God, is by reading your Bible. Uh, pastors have been saying it for decades, for centuries, for thousands of years. You've got to read the Bible. You've got to train yourself in it. So this is what Paul says. This is what the Bible says. It says, discipline yourself for the purpose of godliness. It's a discipline for sure. Bodily discipline is only of a little profit, but godliness is profitable for all things since it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. So what are the benefits of reading your Bible every day? Well, if you're having a problem with a marriage, with a relationship, relationships with your children, relationships with other people, your boss, right? You're going to read the Bible and you're going to get nuggets 
and just really good stuff from reading it. I'm thinking of the book of Proverbs. You read the book of Psalms. You read all of these books and they just give you lots of wisdom and your life begins to improve. Now you're going to wake up the next morning and you're not going to really feel much different necessarily. And maybe a week or a month. In fact, the change can be gradual. But over the course of months, of years, of decades, the Bible will change you into a wonderful person. A wonderful person. And how do you know that? By looking at others who have done it. So if you want to be a person who is well-adjusted, who has good relationships, who knows what to do in this world, who has a good relationship with God and everything else, it starts with reading the Bible every day. So those are the benefits. I hope you take, a, uh, take me up on that and check it out for yourself. So here at Pilgrim's Light, we do a lot of videos about Bible studies, Bible reviews, talk about translations, and uh, even a full Bible study course, which we are doing right now. So if you'd like to get, a, get in line and be, have all that stuff available for you, just go ahead and like, subscribe. All this stuff comes out for free. We don't charge anybody for it. We just ask that you engage with the channel, you comment, you subscribe, you like, and that's going to help us out a lot. So we appreciate it. May God bless you and have a great day.